I'd like to officially thank seven bucks a pop for every piece of gum that I am chewing right now. Original table that I unopen that I unbox things at unopened. I don't know what that's about. That can only mean one thing. I have way too much shit to open right now. Way too much. Way too much. Check 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 this out. Check this out. Look at all that. It doesn't actually look like a lot, but that's stacked. Like that's a few deep. So so yeah. So that's what we got going on today. Let me see if I can get this right. Yeah. So um, this is another gigantic unboxing video because I don't have. Any, like, main event kind of stuff. I don't do... I haven't had any mystery boxes in a little while. Uh, and if I have, I've done them on live stream. So, uh, this is what you get. This is what you get. And if I release a video and my hair's, like, shorter or whatever, um, it's older. You, you understand. You get it. Backlogs. You know, but uh, I've been trying to put out newer stuff, too. Because uh, all this is pretty relevant right now, I'd say. And uh, pretty cool. Uh, I got a lot of cool stuff here. I got some giveaway wins. I think I have, like three giveaway wins at least here which is pretty crazy um i've got oh if you hear if you hear nature noises i have a window open because it's hot as balls up here um and i got giveaway wins i got uh at least one autograph in here i think there's only one i got uh at least one chase roulette i know about there's a whole bunch of stuff going on so let's get right into it into something i begrudgingly bought and already hate but it was on sale for like 22 bucks from Funimation. Um, so I'm not super worried, but I have heard horror stories about Funimation shipping, that it's not very good, and they do not give a shit about you. Uh, so, so if it's not very good and they don't give a shit about you, if this is damaged, oh well, too bad. <laughs> uh, but it actually looks pretty good. From what I'm seeing. And it's gigantic and I'm stupid. Why did I buy this? I hate these. Huh. This actually looks uh pretty dang pretty dang minty for a uh, there's a little ding right here, but for a 10 inch, it's pretty dang minty. We got the Funimation, the, the 2021 Funimation exclusive glow in the dark 10 inch all might. Why? Cause I'm an idiot. That's why, ta-da, idiot pop right here. I'm dumb, but it's really nice. This is really nice. And it was on sale for like $22, free shipping too, because I'm a member, because I watch all the anime. That doesn't make me cool. Um, 22 bucks free shipping, or 22.50 I think it was, free shipping. Come on, I mean, come on. It's stupid, but like, come on. I'm gonna put this not, I'm gonna put this out of the way now. Because I, I have so much other stuff that uh, is, I'm going to need the room. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need the room. I don't even know how I'm going to bring all these pops back into the house. I don't even... Oh, look who's creeping. Look, look who's creeping. There he is. Fabio. What up, Fabio? What's up? What's up, buddy? Got to have Fabio in the video. Uh, let's get into... I have two autographs. I just remembered I got two autographs. I got two of those things. This will be my trash box, because I'm going to have a lot of it. Um, let's get into this box of this Amazon box. Uh, apparently, I had a ton of Amazon. I had a ton of Amazon stuff. Um, this was supposed to be a Chase Roulette, but I did have to open it to see if it was something else. I did not get the Chase, because that was supposed to be the Chase, if it was going to be one. I did not get it. So, if anyone has this, uh, the Chase of this, I believe, I believe the Chase was this one. I am looking for it. I do need it. I do not have one because this is the only one I bought. So I don't have another shot at it right now. Um, I, unless that's not even it. I think that is it, though. And this is just an empty box. I don't know why. I have no idea. So there was just that. Maybe there was something in there that I needed. I don't remember. 
But we had Ron. We had Juan, we, wow. We had Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation. Hunter Ron. Uh, like I said, I do believe that was that I had the potential for a chase. I did not get one, unfortunately. But I believe there's at least one more other opportunity at a chase in this gigantic pile of nonsense. So, uh, what, do, what do we get uh, here? Is this Amazon as well? This is also Amazon. I have a ton of Amazon. Um, I don't even remember ordering this many things on Amazon. So, most of this is a surprise to me. Because <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Oh, this isn't, uh, this isn't, this isn't Pops at all. It's a uh, Pokemon tin, so that has nothing to do with this. But I forgot all about it, so that's why it's being opened on the channel, because I completely forgot I ordered this. We got the Flareon, uh, the Flareon Roaring Skies tin. Very cool. Not gonna open it. At some point I'm gonna open it, but uh, not right now. Right now it's just in the way, because this is a pop video. Uh, even though I've opened other stuff on here before that aren't pops anyway. Uh, there's another Amazon box. Maybe it's Pokemon. It's not. I think this is actually Pops. I just don't know what. What could I have ordered? Who knows? Oh. Oh, okay, hold on. So this, this was a chase roulette as well. Um, but here's, I'm going to show you something. Um, so I'm confused. This, this is from the movie Mandy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard it. It's a very strange cult classic. Uh, it's a Nicolas Cage movie. It's very odd. And, uh, yeah. So, we got Mandy. I ordered two of these to try and go for the chase. And, um, this is the common. Um, and... So, this is the chase. But... There's no sticker. Where's my chase sticker? Where's my chase? I, where's my chase sticker? I'm happy I got one. I'm very happy I got one. But where's my where's my chase sticker, Funko? Come on, where where is it? This this is crazy. Where's my chase sticker? I'm chase stickerless. I'm stickerless. I, I got it though. <laughs> I guess that's very cool. Um, I would have made it more dramatic uh, if I had. Ooh, this is a little crunched. Um, but whatever, it's going in my personal collection anyway. So you can see it's a little, it's a little it's a little a little crease, a little crunch right there. That's okay. It's a bummer that it's on the chase, but uh, is it even a chase if it doesn't have the sticker? The answer is yes. Uh, still very cool. Uh, just a bummer that it's a little beat up. Oh well. Got the chase though. Um, just minus chase sticker. I don't. This was a weird one. This was a weird release too. I mean, they said that there was a potential for a chase or whatever, but it took forever to get here, and I'm still waiting on the rest of the set too. So I have no clue. I have no clue what that's all about. Um, what I know one for sure over there has two for another chance at a chase, but. It, a uh, little, uh, little hint. It's one I've already pulled on this channel. Ooh, this has seen better days. Seen better days. Little, little crunch, little rip. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. There is a little rip on the side, but it's not as bad as it originally looked. We've got Andy as Princess Rainbow Sparkle. <laughs> we got Andy Dwyer as Princess Rainbow Sparkle. Uh, there's a little, little, little flap here, and then a little, little tear here. That's Amazon for you. It looks like the da the box is undamaged, so it looks like they just shipped it that way. That way. So, uh, thanks Amazon for shipping me a damaged pop. Nice of you. Very nice. Uh, it's not that big a deal though, because it is. Ooh, that's a little worse. Uh, it could be worse, but it could be a lot better. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty beat up. Little little ding there too. Another little rip on the side, but. Maybe I'll return it. I don't know. It's not going to be like, I mean, it's a common right now. So maybe I'll return it because it is a, a little beat up. But uh, I don't know when I ordered it. So I might not have time to do that, to be honest. And that's the biggest problem with uh, doing things the way I do things. I open things very late. So, whoops. <laughs> if, if, uh, if I can't get it, that's on me. Uh, this is my first box. Uh, there's going to be two. This is my first box from... Gem Pops from Nick, from, uh, you know, popping around the clock fame, Nick, Gem Pops. Uh, we made a trade for this. I sent him a couple things, and uh, I did not know this existed. So when I found out it did, I immediately, and I found out live on, on popping around the clock, too. I found out live that this existed, and I immediately knew I needed to get it in my personal collection somehow. We've got 
the Golden Girls Funk O's cereal with a tiny Betty White. It's a uh, Target exclusive. This was a Target exclusive Funk O's with, with a little Betty White. I needed this. It's unopened, in a protector, very great shape. This is incredible. I mean, it's tough to find these cereal boxes in really good shape because they're very easy to damage. I mean, they're super easy to damage. Um, and, and to find them like sealed in a protector, that's great. Um, thank you, Nick. I appreciate this. I do have another box from him, but we'll get into that a little later because it has got a heavy hitter in it. It has got quite the heavy hitter in it. Trust me. Trust me on that. But this is great. I needed this. Uh, as most of you have been watching the channel know, big Golden Girls guy. Mostly Betty White, but I, I love the show. I love Golden Girls. I do not want to eat that cereal. Look at the color on that. I don't want to eat that. But this is awesome. Um, someday when I have my own place, I am going to have a Golden Girls shelf. And uh, this will be featured prominently on it. All right. Uh, let's get into this. From uh, This is from a channel, a YouTube channel, who... Just had their first auction uh, as of this week, as of this recording. Had it last week. Um, this is from Amissa Funko. I think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, her name is Alyssa, and uh, she just had her first whatnot auction, and I wanted to support her, so I picked something up. That's how I feel. I mean, I want to support the people who uh, have their first, like, have their first auction, you know, because I just had my own too. So, like, I, I want to support other people having theirs if I get the chance to. We got a sticker. We got a nice little holographic sticker right there. I'll put all the links in the description for anyone I mentioned today. Um, and if I mention you and the link's not down there, please let me know. I'm very forgetful and dumb, but I, I will try to remember all the people. There's a, there's a sticker right there. And a little card. A thank you card. Thank you. Thank you for having a cool auction. And we got... Honestly, this is not probably not personal collection or anything. This is probably going to go into my whatnot auction later on down the line. But I wanted to help the supporter, help her out. We've got Naruto Six Path. I believe it's a glow in the dark, but I don't remember. Maybe it's not. This might not be a glow in the dark. But Naruto Six Path, pretty cool pop. Uh, I know nothing about it, but it's very cool. I like it. It's a very cool pop. But it's probably going to end up in one of my whatnot options as well. Just down the line. All right. So ah, uh, this is already a mess, and I'm not even I'm not even halfway done. We got another whatnot purchase. I don't know from who. Maybe there will be some indication inside. If not, ah, uh, sorry. I don't remember. I don't remember. I buy uh, plenty of stuff on whatnot, so. Uh, I don't know. It could be anything. This is from, what the hell? Oh, this is, okay, yeah. This is from Comic Book Poser. I do believe. Am I reading? Yes, I think I got that right. Yes, I did. Comic Book Poser. I hopped into one of his auctions. Grab this for a steal of a price, in my opinion. Very well packaged. Great, great, great packaging on this. And I, I got it for a great price. It's a very, not super old pop, but I know a lot of these OG Guardians of Gals. Ooh, it looks like it got a little crushed. Hopefully, it's mostly just in their protector. Looks like the box might have gotten a little bit of it. No, it's not too bad. The box did get a little bit of it, but uh, could could be worse. There is a bit, a bit of a ding there, but I don't know. There's no fault of anyone, really. It was in a protector, so he did what he could do. But this is nice. This is staying in my personal collection anyway. We got an OG Gamora from uh, 2014. This Gamora is from 2014. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a bummer. Again, got, got some damage on it. The post office has been on point, man, <laughs> in, a, in a bad way. That's, that's a sarcastic on point, uh, if you couldn't pick up on that. But, yeah, they have been, they have been beating up some boxes. This actually doesn't look that bad, so maybe something, maybe something happened to it beforehand. But uh, yeah, great. Thank you, thank you, Comic Book Poser, for that. Uh, this is a great 2014 pop. I love picking up the older pops. Some of my favorite pops are the older pops, and uh, I may be working on something else too. That'll be pretty interesting. Talk about older pops. I might be picking up the. This is. It might happen. It might not. I might be picking up the oldest pop. I know. Very soon. Maybe. Could happen. Little teaser for you. Um, let's get into this one from... Actually, <laughs> let's do this one because I'm scared of it. So, um, FunCon is over. Uh, even though there is going to be one more box coming because they did like a second wave and I picked up a few things from that. So there will be another thing. 
But Funcon is mostly over. Now it's definitely over. Uh, there was one restock that I picked up. It was Blade from Walgreens. And oh no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh boy. Hopefully it's on this side, because if it's not, we are screwed, everybody. We are screwed because Walgreens ain't gonna do shit to help us. Please be on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. No damage on it. No damage on this guy. It was on the other side of the box. We win today. We win today. We've got Blade from Funcon. Very cool pop. And the damage did not win. The post office did not win today. They lost. They're trying to damage our pops. No. It, Walgreens put it on the other side of the box. I probably just got lucky. There was no packaging material in there whatsoever. So it probably just slid when this got crunched. It probably was just slid to the other side of the box. But we got Blade and it's not damaged. Yay. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> Uh, let's do, let's do one from Funko themselves. This is something. I don't know what. It could be one of two things. Uh, I think I only remember one of the things that I ordered, and this is the one I remember. So, we've got, this is an interesting little sorter they've got here. We've got, I don't know what that's useful for. It didn't get damaged, so uh, it worked. We've got Metallic Kid Loki. I have picked up a bunch of these now. I mean, I, I picked up Alligator Loki. I didn't show it off because I, uh, I I don't remember why, actually. Oh, I was looking for it for someone else because I bought two. One for someone else, and I wanted to get that tool. So, we got Metallic Kid Loki. I do have the Alligator Loki. And uh, maybe, maybe the other one's here, too. Maybe. Just maybe. I honestly don't remember. I think it is. But who knows? Let's get into this from Box Lunch. This is the one I was just talking about, so that's good. A lot, a lot of packaging material, that's great, thank you, Box Lunch. You didn't ship it in a bag, you a-holes, thank you for that. Normally you do. I have, surprisingly, I have a couple things from Box Lunch, no bags. Um, I, and the last one I have from Hot Topic, in a box, no bags. Thank you guys for finally stepping your shit up. We've got... To go along with Kid Loki and Alligator Loki, we've got classic Loki. This was this was probably my I loved Alligator Loki, but I mean, come on, how much can you how great can you be with an Alligator? This was probably my favorite character in Loki. Uh, this was a great character in the show. I was a big fan of classic Loki, and the pop is great too. I don't plan on picking up like everything from that show, uh, but I did want to pick up like some of the variants that I liked. So. So there was that. I picked up classic Loki. I think I have one more from Funko Shop. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, actually, it's right here. I don't remember what, the, what this is. Uh, I think it's a Parks and Rec, but I could be wrong. But I do believe it's another Parks and Rec, like a sick Ron or something. Wrong. Maybe I opened that already. I, have, I honestly have no clue. Uh, we've got eh, a little damage, but not too bad. We I, This one was a random restock, and I have Garfield already, so I got Odie. I don't have much else to talk about there. I just wanted Odie. I wanted Odie to go with Garfield. And uh, I guess they're still making Odie. Cool. Not much to talk about there. I wish I had more for you. I do not. I do not. I'm out of room. I guess you're going over there. I'm already out of room because I'm opening so much sheet. Let's do another Chase Roulette. This is from Box Lunch. And it is one that I have already opened on this channel before. Uh, but uh, let's see if I can get another one. It is the alien from They Live. So let's see if I can get another one. Or if I, I need the comment anyway. So uh, either way, I'm happy because I do need the comment. So whoop. nope. Womp womp. So the first one is the common, which I do need anyway because I have the chase. But uh, I mean, a second chase I wouldn't complain about at all. Who would complain about a second chase? But we've got we've got the the common alien from They Live. A uh, little beat up, not too bad. Not too bad, though. Because, I mean, Box Lunch, Box Lunch, they love their wonderful shipping practices. All right, next one. I can't see it. Let us see if it is. <laughs> oh, we've got another Chase from They Live. We've got the Chase Alien 
from they live black and white very cool wow i did it again the chase whisperer strikes again i needed to get actually i've gotten two in this video already it's real man it's real i can't start believing that though but it's real oh, come on yeah look i got another one I got two in this video. That one didn't have a, a sticker though. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to send a sternly worded email like, "Hey Funko, where's my sticker? There's no sticker on that one. There's a sticker on this one though. There's a sticker on this one, and it's nice too. This is a nice chase. I like it. I do like the common better actually. But uh, that's pretty good. I've ordered three of these, and I've gotten two chases. So uh, that's pretty dang good right there. Pretty dang good. I'm very happy with that. I'm not ordering any more. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. I'm quitting while I'm ahead on the Chase Alien, on the, uh, on the They Live Alien. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Um, giveaway win, autograph, giveaway win, what is this? This is a hot topic. Um, this also might be a Chase Roulette. It is. And you know what? I'm actually more excited about this one. If it's what I think it is, I believe it is. Okay, so... I believe this is, I, now, I might have blown my chase load, my chase luck load on these last two. I hope not, because this is what I really want to chase of, so I don't have to buy it. This is the Diamond Edition Mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. So, uh, there is a chase, it was, it's the same as the last one, there is a chase, but uh, let's hope I get it. I don't think that's a good start. It is not. We've got the normal mayor. I feel like I blew my chase load and I'm um, probably not going to get it, but we have one more shot. This is a great looking pop. I needed it either, either way, but I would love to pull a chase because I love the chase of this. I, I love, I have the regular chase, like the non-diamond edition chase, but uh, I want that diamond edition too. And I don't want to buy it because I'm cheap. All right. We got one more shot. Hot Topic has been good to me. Box Lunch was just good to me. Amazon was even good to me today. But will Hot Topic be good again? No, they will not. They will not. Hot Topic did not come through today. It was Box Lunch and Amazon's time to shine. I am sad. I am sad. We do not have the chase. So if anyone does have the chase, I do need it. Now, maybe I'll buy more if these are still available. I don't know. But as of right now, I do still need the chase. Someone help me, please. Reach out to me on Instagram, Funko Fat Guy, please. Uh, bummer. That's a bummer. But I, I, how can I complain pulling two chases in one video already? How can I do that? I won't. I refuse. I am sad, though. I am sad I didn't get the, the mail. I wanted the mail. But that's okay. I keep seeing a bunch of chases online of those, like people pulling them, and I'm like, man, I have mine in the garage. I should open those and check. There they are. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad the disappointment was wasted on video. Or not wasted. I mean, I, I feel like it's fun to see me disappointed. Uh, <laughs> that's a weird way to say it, right? Let's do... That's a giveaway. That's a giveaway. That's a giveaway. Let's do the first autograph. I got two. I got two of those autographs. So this is from my boy Franco. I will, uh, I will put his stuff in the description as well. <clears throat> you may... Recognize him from giving me Rey Mysterio, the 7-Eleven Rey Mysterio. That is an absolute peak of my collection. Great, great pop. Very cool. And ship, this is shipped very well. Shipped very well. Nice, nice bubble wrap. Well packaged. In a protector even. Love to see the protectors. Love to see everything protected. We've got... The Razor Ramon autograph. I never had a Razor Ramon autograph. And it's signed in purple. I have nothing signed in purple as far as I remember. Uh, this is very cool. I'm very excited to grab this. And uh, spoiler alert, we're going to have a little chase roulette on uh, the diesel coming from 7 Bucks a Pop as well later on down the line. Um, I actually, I'd probably prefer diesel not coming as the chase, but the chase is super limited and I actually need the chase. I don't have this pop either. I only have the chase for this one. So I needed to pick this up either way. Uh, this is a fantastic pop. Thank you, Franco, for hooking me up with this. I uh, I love it. It's great. It's a fantastic, fantastic pop. 
JSA certified. Doesn't have the cert. He bought it at a store, but I have looked it up. Everything's fine. It's all legit. Um, and if I really wanted to, I could like request another cert. I'm not too worried about it. It's personal collection and I know it's legit. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. What's next? Let's do one of the giveaway. Actually, no, let's do the next, the second autograph because, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy and I definitely spent some some key shot for sure well packaged as usual from gem pops all right let's get into it mr. gem pops Nick did I say that before that's who this is from this is from gem pops this is from Nick. this is the second box I have from him today the first one was golden girl cereal first thing I bought from him was rogue flying rogue I think it's flying yeah flying rogue from x-men um, little known fact, I do have a ton of these X-Men pops. I don't know where they are, but I have a lot of them. Like, I have, a, like, a really lot of these. I don't know where they are, though. That's a, that's a big problem. Like, that's a real problem I have. Anyway, we got Rogue. <laughs> but the main event of, of this, of this, this auction, and this is, this is the first time, oh, it's funny, I just said I had no signatures in purple, and, uh, both autographs today in purple. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even think of that. Whoop. Well, that's what you get with Pop Hearts or Pop uh, Funko Hearts stack there. The things pop off. This is pretty crazy. This is a pretty crazy grail piece. We've got Elvira autographed diamond edition. 2,500 pieces. Only 2,500 pieces. And this sucker's autographed. That's pretty crazy. This is from October 2019. It's from Halloween. This is a wild grail piece. And I definitely paid up for it. But it was to support a friend. And uh, I, it's it's not something you see every day. This is definitely not a pop you see come through ever, really. I mean, when was, uh, an autograph version especially. Like, when do you see that? That's pretty crazy. Funny. Two, two purple autographs. I went from having no purple autographs to having two. That's pretty funny, um, but man, that's that's pretty crazy. And if you can believe it, that's not even the most limited piece we have on the table today. If you can believe it. I don't believe it. Next up, we have, let's go, let's get into this one. I had no clue who this was from at first, and then I saw where it was from, and I like actually thought about it, and I was like, Tills Pops. This is from my giveaway that I won from Tills Pops. I don't know what's in here. I have no clue. But it came in a mystery grail box. Oh, we get to we get to mystery grail. I've never bought any mystery grails, but we get to mystery grail it. Maybe we got a grail. Do you think we got a grail from Tills Pops? Probably not. I can't see what it is. I have no clue. We got stickers. It's already great. Ooh. We got stickers. Uh, I do already have this, but it is a very cool pop. So I am not upset that I have it again. Oh, and they sent they sent a like a chewy candy. They sent me some candy. Oh, gotta get into this candy. I mean, they these guys Tills Pops. Obviously, you know I'm a big fan. They're me and them. We're like brothers. We're like long lost brothers. They sent me a bunch of candy. They know I'm a fat shit. Look at that. Uh, they open a ton of these mystery grails. I still have yet to open a single one. Basically, this was my first one. Did I even show up the pop? Probably not. I, I, I'm just going on a rant. We've got the American Nightmare Cody. Very cool. Also known as Cody Rhodes. He's now in AEW. He's actually like the vice president or something. He's 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 a big big player in AEW. But they haven't made AEW pops. But this is a New Japan pop, which is very cool. I do already have it. So this will probably end up in a whatnot auction. But they definitely played to their audience. Because I'm a big wrestling guy. And uh, yeah, this is great. This is a great looking pop. If I didn't already have it, I'd definitely be keeping it. And uh, here's that sticker once again, because it's a nice holographic. So that is one of two giveaway wins, or three giveaway wins, sorry. That's one of three giveaway wins that we got going on. What is this? Oh, that's that's the last giveaway. I'm like, what is this box, idiot? Uh, so let's get into some more long lost brothers of mine. This came all the way from Australia. I think you might be I think you might know where I'm going with this. And it looks in great shape coming from Australia too. I I mean you never you never really know. It's 
it's kind of a crapshoot with anything overseas or anything like that. So I don't know how this is even, how do I open this? How do I open you? We're, uh, we're going to have to keep trying. Just keep cutting at things. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. So this is from Australia. I'm not going to do an accent. That's offensive. They sent a postcard. Ooh, there's a note on the back, so I'll read that too. So this is from Taco Pops. I don't know. Did I say that? I don't even remember. This is from Taco Pops. Those legends over in Australia, those guys are hilarious. If you don't know who they are, boy, are you missing out. I will, uh, again, I'll, I'm putting all the links in the description. Go check them out. They are, they are, oh, I, I got to do the thing. I got to do the thing because I, I got, I got something from Taco Pops. I got to slap my leg <sighs> for you, for you boys, crotchmen and taco. That's for you. Let's read this note. It's on a nice little postcard. Dear Funko Fat Guy, I hope you enjoy this delicate slice of Australia. Thanks for being a great dude and getting a bar of the action. Keep slapping it, baby. I did. Your sweaty mates from Australia, Taco and Crotchman. And I got I got a Taco's autograph. I feel I feel I, like it's I'm starstruck. Taco's autograph right there. And then a little drawing. That's a great little drawing too. Look at that. Legends. Legends these guys. So let's get into what I actually got. Let's let's stop sucking their wieners and uh, get it. This is well packed. Well packed from Australia. And uh, let's get into what I actually got from them. I want to uh, want to give away from them, all the way from my boys in Australia over there. And uh, very very well packed, a ton of bubble wrap. Love to see it. You never know with international shipping how things are gonna make it. This is pristine. This is pristine condition. All right, here we go. Australia exclusive. It is coming to box lunch, I believe. But it won't be the same because this one has the Australian McDonald's sticker. Ronald McDonald Diamond Edition. I was so thrilled when I got this, uh, when I won this, because I have pretty much all of this set. I don't. Have, the only thing I don't have from the McDonald's set is the five pack and then the McNuggets and the Fry Guys. I don't need those. So I think those are silly. But the main characters, I got them all. And uh, this is this is a crazy exclusive. This is from. This is an Australia exclusive for uh, 50 years. 50 years of McDonald's over there. That's pretty crazy. And this is amazing. This is an amazing looking figure. Diamond Edition Ronald McDonald. Like I said, it is coming to box lunch, but this won't be there and this won't be there. Just this and the box lunch sticker. It's gonna be different. This is the one you want. This is the one you want. But it's staying in my collection, so you can't have it. No, this is for me. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, it's great of you guys to do an international giveaway like that. Uh, you didn't have to do that because uh, I know shipping over here is a giant pain in the arse. So I appreciate you guys. And uh, like I said, if you haven't, if you don't know who Taco Pops is, go check them out. You will not regret it. Well, you might. If you're, uh, their, their personalities are uh, a lot to take in, much like my own. Um, they might not be your thing. But they're my thing. I'm I'm way into them. They love Adam Sandler movies. I love Adam Sandler movies. They, I was listening to their podcast and they were talking about the kind of comedy movies they were into, and I was like, that nah, explains a lot. Explains a lot why I'm, I get along with these guys. All right, last one, final piece, most limited piece on the table. Obviously, the Elvira was uh, was twenty five hundred pieces. More limited than that, if you can believe it. Can you? Because I cannot. I can't believe it. I don't believe it. You can't make me. You can't make me believe it. I'm just trying to stall because it's taking, taking me a while to open it because I'm stupid. All right. So this is from Deadstock Collectibles and Serlent Pops. They did a collaboration giveaway. Uh, and I was one. I think they did like, Deadstock did it with like four different different Instagram pages. And uh, I got one of them. I got the one collaborating with Serlent Pops. Uh, so the, I will put those guys in the description as well. All of, all their information. Pretty cool. Pretty cool thing we got here. Uh, I I I think it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I definitely when I saw that I won it, I was blown away. I, I was blown away. It's probably 
probably the most expensive thing I've won. Not that that really matters. Um, but when I saw the value on it, I was shocked. We've got the 2,000 piece. I said Funkon was over. I lie. We've got the 2,000 piece Jack in track suit. Jack in the box in track suit from Funkon. That is pretty wild. That is pretty wild. It's in a, looks like it's in a dead stock uh, collectibles protector. That's pretty cool. It's nice and thick. Nice and thick. Nice and thick protector. Look at that thing. Look at that. Jack in the box. Track suit. This is great. I am very, I'm very excited to have this. I'm not a huge ad icons guy. Um, I was. I did, I did start that collection, but it got too out of hand for me. So I'm kind of out on it. I'm holding on to this one at least for a little while. Um, but I'm super thrilled to have this. This is a very cool limited piece. Um, only 2,000 pieces. Ad icon 2,000 piece. This, this should skyrocket. I mean, it's already up there in value. You'll see it on the screen down here. But uh, this should skyrocket. I mean, 2,000 pieces. You've seen some of the other 2,000 pieces. They've gone to the moon. So, man, look at that thing. 2,000 piece Jack in the Box. This is, I don't have the original Jack Box either. Is that the name? Jack Box? I don't have the original one either. So this is my first Jack Box as well. Very cool. I have spent too much time talking. Um, this is probably my longest video ever. Because somehow this was more crap than the last video I op where I opened a ton of stuff like this. And um, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking after I uh, do the cheap plugs. Check out Poppin' Around the Clock on Tuesdays, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're on a, a different channel every week, so just figure it out. You'll, you'll, you'll find it eventually. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Funko Fat Guy. Um, thanks for being here on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, why not? Please do. Uh, if you like the cut of my jib, if you like all that, and if you like if you like shirts like I Can't Believe I'm Not Butter, if you like that, then subscribe because I have a bunch of nonsense like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Betty White is immortal. Goodbye.